Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to review another custom ROM for Redmi Note 8 and this time we have Project Elixir ROM and the experience was quite mix of good and bad. So let's go and check this ROM. So as I do every always, so we will go to our Android version and other things first, then I will go other things. So as you can see, so it's based on Android 13 and the security patch level is January 5, 2023. Elixir version 3.5 so this is 3.5 was the latest version so in one week ago maybe this time they have released another one maybe I will try that one later on so as for now 3.5 and Android 13 and January 5 is the security patch level so the ROM as you can see has um, actually has a lot of features and other things and it's quite good actually having features if they are useful and for the setting parts as you can see the setting is setting layout is different than usual android 13 roms but it's quite nice actually and as you can see the notification panel has individual toggle for your wi-fi and bluetooth and other things internet and you can change this thing so it was uh, the interface was looks like actually uh, stock android 13 but i have changed these things as for my liking and you can change this too so to change this kind of thing you can go to sense and you, you will get a lot of things there and also you will get game space here so so that you can change whatever you want so like you can unlock higher fps in games and other things so it's up to you whatever you need but although i'm not because i'm not playing any kind of gaming in this rom so i'm not doing that but maybe you can try this so you can go to game space and, and do whatever you want so it, it's quite good actually having this kind of features and you can change other things like your theme and other things it has a lot of actually detailed theming in this rom and i don't really need that much feature in customizing the themes and other things it's good that it has this kind of thing and if we go to the network and internet so if we go to hotspot option so we don't have uh 2.4 uh two, we have only 2.4 gigahertz band not no 5.0 5.0 gigahertz band so that's one thing i don't know why the roms are not including this although this this feature is available in me why based rom from long time but in this case it's not so smoothness wise this rom is quite smooth actually the level you will get like drift rom i have reviewed long time ago so the smoothness is level is something like that and does not comes with a lot of apps just basic uh, uh, android apps and also comes with gcam go which works perfectly fine so let me show you and it, and all the lenses does work so as you can see all the lenses works there is no issue with that so camera you are getting gcam go and if you want you can install other gcams and other gcams working fine not always but mostly the other gcams also working as you can see it's taking time to load the ui but it's working so and let me see the gcam version which have like multiple lens so as you can see the lenses are working here too so no issue with that so you will not have any kind of issue with camera and other things and we have and i have uh what it called re restored all the apps and data from my previous build and the apps are working just fine no issue sometime i, I was having issue with my uh shopee account which was if i restored it from another rom the app doesn't work I have to reinstall it from play store but in this time in this rom it's also working here and i don't really know about the safety net because while i was installing this rom i have installed magix too so i could not able to check i think it should be passed without magisk but if you install magix then you will not get a safety net first that means you cannot use any kind of banking apps but if you use like if you don't use uh, don't install magix then maybe it will it will work properly so and other things as I said smoothness is there and double tap to wake up or double tap to uh, do the other things everything working fine and you have face unlock and fingerprint unlock the fingerprint unlock works really good so as you can see you just touch and it's unlock and it works each and every time there is no delay with this kind of thing and the face unlock I have tried it it's really slow so I just disabled it one thing that now comes to the bugs point so actually in these roms there are nothing much to talk about all because all the stock roms has nothing left but in this rom have bugs but before going to the bugs let's let me 
uh, tell you about our skin retention problem so it includes the Xiaomi parts option so we don't have any kind of skin retention problem here in this ROM because I have already play, uh, calibrated my display and it's working just fine I haven't found any kind of issue with that in some ROMs although if you can calibrate your display setting still you will get uh, the skin retention problem but in this case I haven't found so now coming to the bugs with this ROM first of all it shows the wrong information of RAM uses so as you can see it's showing the 2.9 gigabyte revival so now if I clear everything now how much 2.8 I don't know what's going on with this so it always shows the wrong information and the most annoying thing of this ROM although this ROM is really good in software parts uh, really good in smoothness and camera parts and everything everything is good but in one thing it goes really bad is the battery backup so the battery backup is not really great with this ROM and another major thing of this ROM is that it drains a lot of battery even if I charge the, my phone like 100% if I unplug it and keep it like for 10 minutes I will see it 90% I don't know why but from 90% it takes time to um, them to go to the low like reducing the battery but still it it drain a lot of battery I don't know why in this ROM but and also another thing of this ROM is that the uh, this ROM also get hot uh, as I said in like in previous ROM I have reviewed it is oxygen was which which is which has worse battery wake up and the words like it was really hard to use but in this case it was not that much that's why I have used this ROM like a week if 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 it's uh, giving me trouble I would not have used this long so but uh, it did not bother me that much because the heating issue is not that not that prominent here is a bit only but it's there and the battery wake up is about four hour plus you will get maybe I'm not sure if you because I haven't done any kind of um, heavy uses here I just use like Facebook Messenger and other things so if you play games and other things you, you will get less battery wake up but still um, I think it's a good ROM if you want to try this ROM I will put the link in the description below you can download it from there and flash it and many of you asking me to uh, give you a tutorial of installing the ROM actually I'm not making this kind of videos because it has a lot of videos about like how you can install in TWRP or install ROM in, in YouTube or in Facebook or wherever you search you will get it so you can look those videos if it's maybe in future I will make a video how you can install like from your PC or from your TWRP I will show that too so that's it about project Elixir ROM thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time